Welcome back to Strategies with Sasquatch. I'm your host Josh. And we're here playing Minecraft. So out here collecting a little bit of wool. Managed to put up... Uh, thank you for the suggestions in the comments by the way. I very much appreciate it. I've been trying some of the different things out. Uh, so anyway, I built a fence. Got some chickens and some sheep. So there's cats. Lots of trees. I, I like to plant the trees. We got tons of villagers. We got so many villagers. They're, they don't have... I haven't found them something to do. Oh dear. So I'm trying to keep up with these sheep. So I, one of the villagers is... Oh shoot, I forget... Well, anyway, I put down a loom. I forget what the name of that is. But that villager likes to buy white wool. So, yeah. I don't have a home for them yet, and I've been actually taking down their old homes for materials. Yeah, you went in there, but unfortunately, they're, I've already taken the floor because I needed the the wood, so... Where are you? Is this you? Yes. The shepherd. Yeah, so he'll... Oh, I'm missing. I'm one shy. That's okay. I do have a little bit of a garden going down here now. And then I found... The trader gave me a mangrove tree, and I had some spruce saplings. I had enough to make this tree. I only have three uh, saplings from what I've already taken, so I might have to take a couple more, but I can't I can't reach it from down here, so I'm a little bit too lazy to deal with that at the moment. I know, my poor horse. There's just water everywhere. I can't, I don't know if I could take a horse in a boat. Does that work? I'll have to figure that part out. But the horse has armor, and it could jump out of here, I think. There's. It has space, it just chooses not to. You know, this. Uh, there's two more of these things upstairs, sir. This is my space. What do you got? This guy wants to take my coal. 15 coal for one? I don't know if that's a good deal. I feel like I've put up a lot of torches and I need that coal. But anyway, there's more storage and... The anvil. I have... I forget if I showed... I had some upgrades, like a... This diamond pickaxe, I put silk touch on it, but then I realized I can't harvest diamond with it because then I'll just have a diamond block. <sighs> so I still have, like, I think three, di six diamonds. Goodness. Anyway, I've got some cool stuff. So I've just been hanging out here, and then I went back because I had... I think I showed it at the, the lava farm. Anyway, I have a lava farm. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. And it was working. I just had it... I had done it wrong to begin with. I was trying to use cauldron... Or not cauldrons. Uh, it works with the cauldron. But I was trying to use... Uh, oh, shoot. What are those called? The droppers? Dispensers? Something like that? Huh. Yeah, I know. I'm having that exact same feeling. It's like, what am I looking for? It's a metal funnel. And you use crates to funnel the stuff that it collects in. And I was trying to collect lava in the thing and have it funnel into a bucket in a, the crate from... I think it's a dispenser, right? Is that what it's... Uh, I can't find it. I'm sorry. I don't... Anyway, I, so that works with other things, right? But I, apparently it doesn't work with liquid, or at least it doesn't yet. I think there's a mod for it to make it work, but... So I had it all wrong, right? <laughs> so now I've got figured it out, but I didn't, I didn't have enough dripstone. I couldn't make more than one, so the lava thing doesn't work if I'm not over there, and so I have to transfer, transfer it, but I was thinking about how do I grow my my dripstone, I need more dripstone, because I bought that from a trader, from the wandering trader also, and I, I bought it, I sold them out, 
and I think I might have broke one on accident. So, anyway, learning how to, to use the stuff, I'm, I need more, and I don't know if I even have enough to create more myself, unless I find it. What are you doing? Okay. Sheep in the boat. So, yeah, anyway, I just wandered around. I cleared this out because it was... This is a hazard because it kept going down like this. So I had to clear out the ceiling. And I need to put up gates because I can't get through here unless I put blocks down. And then this. I had a mysterious thing happen, so I'm not sure. I had to put up dirt because for whatever reason, like I replaced the dirt path blocks because I had put up a gate in between, in between these fence blocks. And I, f I think it disappeared, and I don't know what happened, so. I'm, I'm not sure how to explain that, unless it was... Something took it, or maybe I'm just... It didn't register because there's a path, or... I'm not sure how that works. Something something I'm missing, so. There's more sheep. Yeah, but it's getting towards... I think the sun's starting to set a little bit, yeah. Don't want to wander off too far. So anyway, if I uh, don't exactly know, I have to go into my inventory and l actually look and see what different things are, and I can build stuff and sort of experiment. Like I've got the barrels for the farmers, or the the fishermen, the composter for the farmers, the loom for the shepherd, I believe. So like I've got this, but I don't think there's two smiths. I'm not sure. I know I can set them up. And have them, like, set them up nice little areas for them to have their own individual space, which I do want to do at some point. But like I said, I'm probably going to clear this, these buildings out. And, like, these trees in the middle might be temporary. And then this area, this whole area here will end up being, like, a big house. Because I'll have to move all of these beds over and separate them a little bit. So I'll need, like, almost twice as much room. So, but this is cool. I need to eat some food. <laughs> but yeah, I have the I have a bigger farm back at the other place, and the more trees that I plant, like, cause I'll end up cutting this one down, and I'll get more saplings, and I'll bring the saplings out, like, in the beyond the fence, or maybe I can replace some dirt in certain areas and set up trees like this one. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. This is still the same area. Because the concept for in my game play idea was to just hang out in this region. Like in this map. And to not go beyond the borders. Unless at some point I can get... Uh, if ever I get to the point where I can like beat, try to beat the game. You know what I mean? And like if I'm using... Because I guess you need to have... Shoot, Ender... Not ender pearls, the end, you have to craft ender eyes. That's what it is. And you have to like throw them and follow them. Something like that. So if, if that was to lead me off of this map, for example, then I'm, you know, would want to wait till later on to, to allow that. So just for a personal, personal thing. The other maps is just, uh, it's to try to get me to sort of enjoy my surroundings here. Cause that's, I feel like the point. Cause these other, other games I'm wanting to, be on the move more so it's like this one I don't this one I can let myself just hang out you know this is just chill and relax so I don't want this to be a huge video because of that I do want it to, to have some excitement I do believe the game is is fun and I enjoy it but I just don't always have something to say or or do that is I would think of being that interesting I did want it I don't know the properties of this can I cut this like not with the shears but, like, I don't want to just go cutting this down. I, I could replant it. And, like, those little flowers, because I think this is a mangrove plant. So I planted it right there in the water, and then it grew up here. So if I was to break it all down and then try to plant it again, I have some in storage. I'll have to harvest some of this stuff. But anyway... So we got the stick trade, we've got a glass trade, I can make glass bottles and glass uh, panes and sell those. And I can sell paper, I can sell sticks, 
I can buy tools from the one guy is an armor or like the smith. So I, I want to try to level up the smith because I think that might work to try to because iron is a problem and unless I go mining and like I'm constantly just using these shears at this point I'm <laughs> going to collect all these and then I was breeding the sheep and I should probably pen them up a little bit better and I have not been breeding the cows as much because I have a cow farm on the other at the other base which isn't actually too far but if ever I did want to like pen up the the sheep a little bit more I could just get some hay and then I don't have like a bunch of cows literally pushing me around because I've got hay in my hand. Cuz they're they're hungry hungry cows. This is a lot of sheep. I, I it's cool because every time I guess they eat grass, their hair regrow like the wool comes right back. That cow spooked me a little. I thought I'm getting Enderman vibes. It's a little darker over here. I don't want to break this down because I didn't build it and there's no way I'd be able to remember how to do that. And like some of these houses I might keep just, I don't know, as design sort of uh, inspiration. So I'm, t I'm not a very, I'm not an engineer at all. Like mine is a square house that has a ceiling and then that's I was like oh this is awesome but then I was like oh well I could do a little bit more than that I could try and build something cool but then it ends up turning into something way too much so yeah almost all the beds are full I know you gotta have like farm animals like stepping all over you at night time I guess we'll join the crew we'll get through the night I do need to fix and or craft some more armor yeah 10 hut Oh my god, where did you come from? Alright, so anyway, I, I, I do want to end it here. I don't have uh, too much more to report, unless I was to go back and like actually show the, uh, the lava workstation, but I can always just build another one or in make maybe have another video. I just want to see what this guy has. If he has anything new. Bucket of fish. Red mushroom. No, that might be good, because I don't have any. I need to go get some my gems. Ow. That hurt a little bit, actually. Oh, I guess I could have just opened this one. Oh, dear. I do have an enchanting table I might have to go grab. And I, th I have uh, obsidian blocks that I've already been able to harvest. So, oh, I need some of these. Yep. Oh dear. So that wandering trader, I'm just at this point. Oh goodness, where'd he go? At this point, I'm. Oh no, I need your wool, please, because that's what I'm gonna use. I'm just using the wool trade to like buy these random things from the trader on a you know semi-annual or daily basis. If I could just find the darn guy, he was right here. Oh dear. I guess I'll trade with him for now. And we'll get it's not a bad trade. It's not bad at all. And like this guy, yes, the, he also gives me these, the bottles of enchantment. Uh, it's those are okay. It's like I don't know, three gems for one of those. It doesn't give a ton of experience, but I guess it's not bad considering my character's at level 34 at the moment. It's only like one, like squares worth. Out of the whole line of squares. Okay, we're playing a game. It's called Spot the Wandering Trader. Yes, you there. What do you have? This, the red mushroom. I don't know if this grows, but I think I'll, I'll just grab like a few of them. I could just, yeah, let's just buy them out. Why not? There you go. You're a super happy guy. And then what is this? Sand? Are you serious? Dandelion? Not really interested. Vines? I'm not needing. I mean, tropical fish? I'm not really sure if I need that either. Because I could just take a bucket and swim out and find a tropical fish, right? I don't know if that's something I need. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've already, like, I spent a lot of my iron making a ton of, like, I have, like, 13 or 14 buckets already, so... 
don't know if I want to spend my gems to buy a you know fish unless I wanted to like the cats are fine like I don't really want to take them from here because they'd have to travel with me in a boat all the way across the water to the other if if they were to follow me to where I was going so I don't want to do that to them yeah so yeah everybody's looking at me it's almost the end on the middle of another day I could just like I said cut down trees replant them you know rebuild a little bit restructure some of the landscape so that I could maybe expand the walls not like a ton I don't want it to be so much that I can't manage it but all right I've I've sat around lollygagging long enough so I'm gonna keep going with this but I'm gonna let you guys go guys and gals out there this is strategies with Sasquatch I'm Josh, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Feel free to leave comments about who maybe I should try to have the villagers become, you know, to work different station stands and whatnot. I'm open to feedback on that. Awesome. Cool beans. All right. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.